Welcome back, coders, to a brand new episode of a behind-the-scenes little secrets tour of NBA 2K18. Uh, this is an extra special episode because we're bringing you this on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, reason why that's a big deal is because it's been a long time since we've had an NBA game on a Nintendo system. And so it's been since the 2K13, I believe, on the Wii U, and it wasn't exactly the best port. Kind of a stilted version of the last-gen version. This one is full next gen and uh it's pretty much got parody minus a couple minor things from the ps4 and the xbox one version i know a lot of people are interested out there to kind of see the differences and see how it stacks up so this should give you a nice little uh, ch uh like view of what it looks like but also how it runs um just for to cover the stats real quick it kind of runs it runs at 1080p docs and 720p in handheld at least as far as i can tell um, it does run at a locked 30 frames per second. Uh, when I say locked, I mean it doesn't go above that. It does, however, dip below that at times, specifically in the My Career cutscenes. And you'll kind of notice that if we ever check that out. Uh, but for the most part, it does not hinder the experience. It makes it a little janky, but at the same time, during the game, it's locked and beautiful and looks just like its upgraded brethren with just minor details changed. So, uh, the reason I wanted to take you through this episode and kind of give you a quick look through the the new mode um, that they just kind of leaked out or, or kind of brought to us in this version is this kind of open world area where you can roam around as your player and you can train up, you can play uh, matches online with people all seamlessly and you can kind of see that there's some people wandering around my lobby. That's because those are actual online people. Those are actually people who are uh, joining me right now online and playing the game. So that's pretty cool. Um, so right over here we have the training facility. It will be whatever team you have. You can enter the team practice facility. In there you can run through drills to upgrade your skills and things like that which you can find in here. Um, the little menu. If I click on that, oops, wrong thing. There we go. If I click on that, it'll take us to our skills menu. You can see my VC balance. You can see my attributes. Right now, my character is a level 60 or a 67 overall. We're trying to get to the road to 99. So there we go. And you can see right there, there's some bedding and stuff like that. Over here is the training facility. The training facility is kind of cool because um, you can walk in here and kind of update up your. Uh, ability to have better stamina and stuff like that which is super important in NBA 2k games because if you can't run you're really not that good so anyway you can do all kinds of different workouts you just kind of go up to them it'll tell you how to do them some of them are dumb mini games that don't work really well some of them are a little bit more uh, useful but all of them help you get further ahead so we're gonna leave here wanted to kind of take you through the rest of this area now there's a cool thing that I found uh, earlier over across the way is this little food stand I believe from what I've been reading online basically what this food stand serves as is, is once you're done with your three different uh, like training exercises you can do in the practice facility you can come over here and get a fourth and that's really helpful because then you can kind of level up your your abilities and get your uh, awards a little bit sooner so over here is a subway station subway station is cool because it will take you all the way over to the courts i'm not going to do that right now because i'm going to take you step by step through here and then we'll pop over on the other side and i'll show you where it comes out right here is your high rise so you can go in there you can do you can actually play uh multiplayer games while you're in my my player mode um on your tv you can organize your closet you can change your clothes you can change your shoes um and you can get some kind of cheesy cutscenes with your friend uh, who I haven't decided if I like or not. Over here is uh, enter anti-up courts. I'm not exactly sure what this has to do with but basically oh this is when you can play against people with real VC basically betting because VC costs money or can be earned for free. I will say this game is pretty microtransaction heavy uh, and if you want to get ahead quickly uh, buying VC is the only way to do that. Over here, there's gonna, you're going to find a number of little side courts. Uh, this is a cool dunk off one. Um, just a fun little little mode. Uh, let's see if I can do this one real quick. Basically, you could join a line. Anybody can play these, and you can kind of compete for higher scores. My highest score was 53, which is terrible. Let's see if we can do that. Um, the way you do this, you hold the trigger and run at the rim and do different uh, directions. And it, ooh, and I, I did not hold it long enough. Real quick, we're going to try again. There you go. Oh, come on. I nailed it. I nailed it. I nailed it. And I didn't even get the dunk right. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. There we go. We got one. 
Let's try to get another one. Oh, come on, come on, a little bit earlier, a little bit early. This is not going well. They're going to definitely uh, cut me short. Okay, 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 come on. Oh, that was messed up. Oh, and that was it. Okay, so that wasn't so good, but you can see you can do different dunks and stuff like that by holding different directions. I'm not very good at dunking, so uh, we'll get a little bit better as we go on. Where I'm not, not focusing on dunking ability. But either way, <laughs> it's fun to try these little side uh, diversions out. I'll show you a couple more and where you can find them. Um, oh, quick, before we move on too far, this is the uh, VC Sports Management. Uh, this is your uh, manager who is going to get you your uh, shoe deals and all kinds of different things. He's kind of quirky and fun. I actually really like his character, which is cool. Uh, this is the t-shirt kiosk. You cannot access it uh, or do pretty much anything until you're over 80. So I haven't been able to do much, but I hear that you can design your own custom t-shirts that people can buy. And if they get enough votes, over 100, I believe, uh, then people can get that. This is the Pro-Am Team Arena. Pro-Am is basically a mode where you can build your own team with other online players and you guys will go through like tournaments together uh challenges you do need i believe uh, at least five people i don't remember what the requirement maybe 10 um but that's kind of uh kind of the downside over here we have one uh what is this one Let's see show me in the instructions score king of the court ones and twos first person to score three ones so you need two people here this is basically a one-on-one -on -one game nothing back over there We'll keep moving this way. This is as fast as you can run, which is kind of a shame because this area is bigger than it I thought it would be. Um, it isn't an enormous open world, but it's it's fairly good sized. Over here's the NBA store. You can buy all kinds of different gear and stuff like that in there. It's all very expensive, cost VC, and right now it's all locked to me, which is really annoying. Yes, I want to leave. Let's get out of here. Okay, thanks for stopping in. See you next yeah, time. Yeah, whatever, bro. So, um, once we get out here, I'll show you the next area. It'll be pretty cool. Okay, so, now that we're outside of there, you can see the Foot Logger. This is another shoe store. Basically, you can buy shoes from here. We'll check it out on the inside. I do think the authenticity of the shops is kind of cool. Hey, welcome to Foot Locker. Um, so, you can buy two different kinds, anything. Street Park okay. and On Court right, Shoes. Um... Since I'm signed with Jordan Brand, we're going to want to choose them only. Uh, so you can see, but they cost a lot of VC. Ooh, those are sexy. Um, anyway, if you guys see any shoes that you really like on this list, let me know which ones you want me to get. And I'll definitely pick them up and show the, showcase them on stream. Again, only the ones that are locked. So, um, are unlocked. So, anyway, that is that. You can check out all the different brands. It's pretty cool. Uh, just keep in mind that if you are signed with a... Uh, shoe deal company like jordan or nike and they see you playing in the other person's Thanks, shoes man. or generic Thanks. shoes too long they will right. drop you right. and Have you don't nice want day. that to happen because you do get some free vc just by playing in their shoes uh, it's always an advantage okay moving on so at the nba store nothing over there back over here is just some cool artwork nothing crazy here literally just artwork uh but some cool spray paint artwork believe oh no no there is a recording studio right here i was invited to this but i'm not going to do that right this second maybe at the end we'll see that little cutscene, so i can show you an example of what those look like but for now we're going to keep looking down the street and if you'll notice over here is ali oops tattoo which is creepy because it has oops in the name as they make jokes about quite a few times in the show uh this is swags uh i know not swaggy peas it's a big miss opportunity it's swags. It's just another shoe uh, clothing store, which is cool because you can outfit your character in all kinds of different things. This is the barbershop. Barbershop's cool because you can get little cutscenes and stuff like that where you interact with characters, um, and that can be fun. 2K Zone, uh, Beats and Bedding. Uh, you go in here, you can uh, get some new headphones. I think they're Beats. They're all Beats headphones. Oh, JBL. I'm sorry. JBL. Sorry about that, JBL. You can play some Pop Shot. You can play a little Pop Shot round. Mini bas basketball is what they're going to call it. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here, like timing wise. Why is it always very early? 
me see if I can hold it longer. No, it doesn't do anything, anything, anything different. I don't understand. Okay, this is terrible. Wow, this is the worst game of Pop Shot ever. Oh, he's embarrassed. Okay, well, we learned that there's no way to do it right. There's also trivia and betting. So you can bet on actual games is what it seems like. Uh, again, I don't think that that's fully functional yet, so we'll kind of play it by ear and figure out how that uh, impacts things later. Um, over here is the uh, another way to play Pro-Am. This is just walk-on, so if you don't want to make a team but you want to play some Pro-Am with people, you can always do that. Uh, visit Main Street Sports News. Sports I actually haven't seen this one. Time? We've got it all. Okay. Store is closed now. Well, thank you for telling me. And then closing your fucking doors. What kind of a dick move was that? For some reason, we also have a fire department right here. Maybe because we catch fire too often. Ooh, we got some weird lag going on right now. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, anyway, where is the... I believe there's a subway station that comes out on over here. I can't remember where it is. Huh. Wow, we're having some serious lag over here. Well, that's uh, something that comes with the game, so you got to learn that there's obviously some issues. Ah, here's the subway station. So if you walk through the subway station there, instead of having to run all the way around, it'll just bring you out here, which is really helpful. These are walk-on courts. Um, you can play three-on-three -three games. You can play some two-on-two -two games. There's a couple different uh, rounds. The way you can check that is just by pressing R. It'll bring up what the, what the courts look like. You can see they're pretty busy right now, and this is on Nintendo Switch, so it's not even like the most popular console to play it on, I'm sure. Um, but so far, uh, it's actually got a pretty good player base. Uh, I won't say that the skill is very high, but you can kind of see it's a, it's a, a nice a spattering of different levels and things like that. But they're all playing three on three, and over here is a two on two court up at the top. So this is a cool way to kind of uh, get your practice on, make sure you got the skills you need to perform on the big scale. All right, let's move on down some weird lag that we experienced now it's now it's doing just fine i'm wondering if that was because it was loading in all the all the online players either way uh it's no longer lagging which means this would be a buttery smooth experience to play against other people let's go ahead and check out the recording studio now since i haven't actually been there before it seems to only lag over here very strange i think it is just kicking people in and out interesting uh, so yeah, like you can see, uh, the game, just like most 2K games, is a laggy uh, mess sometimes. Or not a laggy mess, but a buggy mess sometimes. Okay, so back here we have another uh, mode, and this looks like a three-point... Uh, receive the ball, attempts as many shots. Oh yeah, this is like a zone-based uh, minigame. Got two people hanging out over here, I'm not sure what they're doing. They're just waiting for other people, I guess? I don't know. Whatever. See you later. Let's go check out... Oh, and there's another guy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, no, 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 no. Come here. No, no, no. Come... Oh. Come over here. Don't don't go in there. Okay, fine. He's going to leave me. Anyway, we're going to go and check out the recording studio real quick for the end of this little uh, secrets tour beti behind the scenes of all this area that they've added to the game. So let's go check out this creepy back alley recording studio that uh, this guy wanted me to see. This will be a little bit later in the story, so hey, excuse Shame, me. I'm Yo, Dame oh, it's Dame. Dollar, baby, what's good? What's up, Rook? Man, Shame came through, man. Yeah, man, just in here messing around a little bit, you know. Hey, I'm trying to get That's something that I noticed. Songs, bro. Hey, Rook, Sometimes the facial hair is really the messed the up in certain scenes. What's up, baby? What's good, man? Oh, D-Lil, what's happening? What's up, what's what's up man? Y'all introduce yourselves to yeah, each other man. already? Yeah, we just met. He hey, said he's messing around. Boy, man, you know I played in uh, Portland with this dude. Yeah, I know. Hey, you go to that block party that uh, Marshawn Lynch did? I didn't even make it, man. Why not, man? I just couldn't be there. I'm happy home, though. No? Yeah, hey, I'm happy. Oh, man, look at that. You look at that chin hair. A little bit, man. Just a little bit. Right. Hey, this right here, man, this my rookie, though, Will. Hey, he into the beatboxing, man. He let you hear anything yet? Man, let me hear nothing, man. Let me let me hear something. You ready? Come on, man. What you supposed to do that? D, D, yeah, man. DJ. Uh. Oh. That's smooth, huh? Like that. Hey, hey, let me add the key. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, uh, uh. Start messing around. Oh, come on. You know I was doing a little bit in Portland. Come on. You don't remember the freestyles? He lying, huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, anyway, hey, if you ever get a chance, man, let's make a track or something. Dude, hey, man, I would love it. Y'all more than welcome anytime. Man. JBL hooked me up with the best Dude, equipment, man. man. Come you on, man. You always come hey, through, baby. It. Now I can make nice some sick you. mix tracks. Because that's exactly what I want to do when I'm becoming a basketball player. What's up? 
Anyway, so that was a fun little side thing, I guess. Anyway, I think that's it for most of the shops and secrets behind here. I don't remember if there's anything else. Uh, let's just make one last pass. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of a cool new uh, way to interact with the world and kind of see all of the different cool things that the game has to offer and uh, train up your player and not be as boring as that when you were locked in a warehouse in la as last year. I really disliked that. Like, very strongly disliked that. Um, 2K17, I felt like, was a major step back. 2K18 feels like a step forward with some bugs and stuff like that, which every single 2K has had since the beginning of time. Um, what I can say confidently is that uh, NBA 2K18 is one heck of a beautiful game. And what I think I'll do is leave you with a uh, quick tour of his apartment um, and a uh, simmed game uh, that you can see exactly what the game looks like and how it runs. Uh, just to kind of show you uh, behind the scenes of the Switch version specifically, how it kind of stacks up against the PS4 and Xbox One version. So let's go ahead and hop over to his apartment, uh, check out what's going on there. Hopefully we don't get bombarded by some weird cutscene because they tend to do that a lot, but we'll try this out. Get into my weird, creepy industrial elevator in my Apparently, I'm the only one in this loft. I don't know how much money I make, but it's ridiculous money. Okay, so far, so good. I don't see a cutscene. Oh, ho, ho, I win. Oh, so close. Man, we out of Reese's Puffs, man. Look, if you like them so much, why don't you buy some? There has to be at least one puff left in the box. Whoa, whoa party people! What? Oh what man, well we're gonna watch this, I guess. Prize in those boxes. Nah, she just really, really, really likes Reese's Puffs, and uh, we're out. So. Huh? Do you really, really, really like Reese's Puffs? Yeah, they're great. Okay. And lunch and dinner. Yeah. Well, Reese's is looking for athlete endorsers. You know, I can reach out and see if uh, there's any interest. That's so weird. No, there's the interest, Brian. There's the interest. What she said. I'm on it. That's it. That's okay, how we Okay, apparently it. I'm going to get sponsored by Reese's Puffs. I'm There she goes. She's a special kind of interesting. But that's my roommate, and she's what she is. So there's a court in here you can practice, and like I said, there's a closet and everything like you can do. We can play NBA 2K18 in our, our freaking... <laughs> <laughs> bedroom basically or we can watch NBA 2k TV which you guys have all seen if you played any 2k games um, she's doing a good job Rachel again she's pretty awesome um, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna CPU sim um, let's uh, see if I can let's see if we can do something really cool we're gonna do um, all time Cleveland Cavaliers versus all-time Golden State Warriors. How about that? Let's do that. This is going to be insane. Let's go. Simming time. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this episode where we get a chance to see what it would be like if two retardedly good teams went up against each other. live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Craig Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. We'll see the Golden State Warriors facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ready, gentlemen? Ready? So Cleveland will get the first possession. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Mullen is up there with Barry. Then there's Chamberlain. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Thompson in at the two spot. Irving can't get it to go. The D a little slow to get in his face. They're fortunate it didn't cost him. No one near Curry as he lets it go. No good on the three. And the Cavaliers with possession. Irving kicks to Price. Doherty with the bucket. Doherty's got the first points on the scoreboard for Cleveland. And so it begins taking control right up front. 
Well, I like the effort. It always feels good to get on the board first. They set the pick. Thompson with it. He's picked up by Irving. Off the screen. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. This one for three. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Here's Thompson. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the Jay. Nice way to start the evening. His number's getting called, and for good reason. Well, yeah, he's a guy who can carry you for stretches, long stretches in this game. You want to get him involved early and often. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. Now, here's Price. LeBron outside. Ilgowskis is screen on Mullen. James kicks to Ilgowskis. Here's Mullen. Doherty with the rebound. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. To the middle. Ilgowskis, good! And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Curry kicks to Chamberlain. Out to Thompson. Shoots the three. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. That's seven points for Clay Thompson. And they can't allow him too many open looks like that. that that's just inviting trouble. Here's LeBron. Buries it down low. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. On the wing, Thompson. Chamberlain dishes to Thompson. 14 feet away. Headshot off. So Cleveland will take it the other way. James kicks to Price. Brody to screen. Irving passes to James. And that one, good. James has got six points. Oh, you'd like to see a stronger pick than that, but it turns out he didn't need the help. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. I was able to talk with the head coach of the Cavaliers. He said minimizing turnovers is one of the keys to the game. Taking care of the ball and not giving away possessions is very important to their chances of winning. He'd rather his guys miss a few opportunities being careful than being crazy out there. Kevin? David, thanks. Sounds like he's prepped his guys on how to handle this opposing defense. And no surprise there, because they're facing a team that can win games with its defense. They are an aggressive bunch from the start. Well, well look, you can play with pace, you can play with speed, and still be patient. And that's what this team is going to have to do against this aggressive D. They can't force things. They've got to play smart and in control. That free throw good from Thompson. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Love's checked in for Ogowskis. Nance comes in for Doherty. Carr, he's checked in for Irving. And Free subbed in for Price. And so Thompson nails both of them. And as great of a free throw shooter as he is, it's still a part of his game. He works very hard at it. LeBron dishes to Nance. Mullen against Nance. Mullen passes to four. Thompson for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. No good from LeBron. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. There's the pick. Here's Floyd. Makes it off the glass. Floyd's got his first points in this one. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Kicks to James. Shot from free throw range. Offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. Oh, 
great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. Now, here's Thompson. Nine points in the game so far. Whistle blows. But that's going to be a travel. Hill is checked in for LeBron. Jason Richardson, he's checked in for Golden State. Richmond comes in for Clay Thompson. Cavaliers trailing. Here's free. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. There's 117 left to play in the first quarter. Floyd passes to Richardson. Outside Durant. Here's Floyd. Nailed from three-point land. Floyd's got his second bucket of the night. There's no lack of aggression on his part. When he's got the chance to score, he'll take it. And it's the Warriors on the break. Finishes the break with a slam. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Oh, that was sweet, and that's what makes him so dangerous. Not only can he set up others, but he can also be a big-time finisher. Here is Carr, the Warriors making the shot. It's back to Hill. Nance, right side. Baseline jumper. Good, he hits the jump shot. That's a mix-up by the D on that play. Not many guys you can afford to leave all alone for mid-range. Lucky for the defense. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Floyd passes to Thurman. Left side, Durant. Four on the shot clock. The shot misses. Hill with some nice D. Here's Carr. And no good. His first shot of the night. Missing. The defense there got away with a major lap. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Warriors lead by four. We've got more in store for you right after this. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? I mean, an interesting first quarter. The pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. Well, that's what happens when you're aggressive on that end of the floor. They took a few chances and took control of the game. Here's Floyd. So on the floor for Golden State to begin the second quarter. They've got Draymond Green. He's out there with Richardson. And it's Richmond in it's the two. Here's Thurman. From 13. Rebound Love. Russell against Richardson. Russell inside over Richardson, and it's Russell missing. Warriors leading by four. Floyd passes to Richmond. Here's Floyd. Seven points in the game. There's a good screen. Five on the clock. Here's Thurman. And it's sent back by Russell. And we play through the first uh, minute here in the second. This is to Hill. Love at the elbow. Pick up by Hill. Fires from the wing. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from Brandon. Artful use of the screen there. Gains the separation he needs for a good look. Richmond outside. Green, the screen. On the wing, Richmond. He's guarded by Harper. And so here's Cleveland. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Here's the three. They get it back. Here's Love. It's stolen by Green. Richardson against Russell. Down low. Here's Green. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. 
And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Love. A rebound by Thurman. Thurman's got his third rebound on the night. Richmond outside. Floyd passes to Thurman. On the wing, Green. From down in the low post, it goes. And it's a six-point Warrior lead. Look at this. I like this team basketball. Keeping the ball moving until they find the right shot. And in the pass to Hart. Love outside. Over to the wing. Here's Brandon. No good there. Great D that time from Green. Harper against Richmond. Outside, Green. Here's Floyd. He's got seven. Richardson, no luck. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Warriors leading by six. Golden State moving it around. Green, down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs time to out, clog those out. lanes in the middle. Start Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. Man, they straight up been getting smoked over this stretch. They really need to refocus here. Platoon swap here for Cleveland. And some changes here for the Warriors. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. On the wing, James. Defended by Mullen. No good from LeBron. Warriors leading by eight. Outside for Curry. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Cleveland with the ball. Only given up six here in this quarter. There's 154 left in the second quarter. And another miss by Cleveland. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Hardaway kicks to Curry. The feet to Chamberlain. Back to Curry. A floater. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. And now a 10-point Warrior lead. Oh, look at the soft touch on the teardrop. Outside Irving. 114 left in the first half of basketball. Bucket is good. That's what every team needs. Guys getting after it on the offensive board. Right away again, Irving. And that one hits back iron. Cleveland with the ball. And here's Price looking for his first basket still in this one. Passes to James. Let's it go from deep. Chamberlain with the rebound. He's not the only one to blame for them being behind, but he hasn't helped their cause much. He kicks it to Mullen. Another shot, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul called on the Cleveland Cavaliers. 
The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First one falls, and Cleveland making a change here. Nance is checked in, and the Warriors also making a change. Clay Thompson is checked in for Hardaway. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Price with the ball. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Doherty with the screen on Kirk. Here's Price. Chamberlain with the block. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he can't get the first one. So both teams making some changes here. He doesn't get the second one. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Thompson inside the line, and that one's on target from the wing. Thompson's got 11 points. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent pick. Well, you're up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the neck. That's his focus right now. And we finished one half of basketball. The Warriors on top. They lead by 12. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. <laughs> 